Well, many in Berks and surrounding counties are gearing up for another summer battling the invasive spotted lanternfly. Officials say in a matter of weeks, the nymphs will hatch, threatening a number of crops. And WFMZ's Katira Winfrey is live in West Reading with more on that tonight for us. Katira. Wendy, several trees around here are already wrapped with the sticky tape, but experts say you want to keep an eye out for those gray egg masses. You can look here and you can probably make out the cluster of eggs, but officials say by scraping or even smashing them, that could get rid of hundreds of bugs. Experts say spotted lanternfly nymphs are expected to hatch from these gray masses in a matter of weeks. I know it's important to get those egg masses now. The lanternflies will go through several phases, ultimately forming wings. It's at this stage where officials say the invasive pests do the most damage. The grape and wine industry is always a major concern. The bugs first appeared in the U.S. in Berks County in 2014. Since then, 14 Pennsylvania counties have been added to the quarantine zone and warnings have been posted in other states. That's something that we're trying to eradicate because they are very prevalent in our area. Ellen Kwiatkowski says she tries to do her part to wipe them out. On our trees so we did put the uh, duct tape around the trees sticky side out to try to collect them and went out with our fly swatters to try to take care of as much as we could. Officials encourage banding and swatting or stomping but at this stage they say scraping or smashing the egg mass will do the most good. And the more eggs we scrape, uh, the better. You know, there's 30 to 50 eggs in each egg mass. So, uh, you know, you can scrape a couple eggs, egg masses, you're talking, you're killing 100 to 150 insects. County Conservation District is in the process of divvying up state funds. The grants will go to landowners to help with lantern fly control. Reporting live in West Reading, Katira Winfrey, 69 News. All right, thank you, Katira.